I love making new friends. That's what TCGs are all about. Well, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG for my favorite segment on the channel where we talk about overrated or underrated by calling one of the friends of the channel and uh, just asking them some questions, just kind of firing off and letting them tell us why something is either overrated or underrated. We're gonna stay away from my opinions and hear their opinions. Today I wanna to introduce you to Peter. He is one of the owners of Min Max Games. This is not sponsored by Min Max Games, uh, but Min Max Game is a, Games and Peter is a new friend to the channel. I just met him there. The other day we had a great conversation and I thought he would be a great person to do it so we're gonna call Peter uh, he knows that I'm calling him he doesn't know exactly why and we're gonna hop in and ask him a bunch of stuff from all over the TCG world of what is overrated or underrated it'll be a good time so let's see what he says I love it when they don't answer hello Peter what's going on dude Hey man, how's it going? It's going well. Hey, you are being recorded for Kitchen Table TCG. We're gonna do an overrated or underrated. Are you ready to ready to do this? Let's do it. All right, I'm just gonna fire off. You're just gonna tell us why you think something is overrated or underrated. All right, ready? Valda, All right. Valda Bright Axe, the new guardian hero. I'm gonna say underrated because we have no idea what's coming out with it. We don't know what can be, you know, used together, etc. It's just too new to to really like throw around the bus yet. Yeah, I haven't seen people super excited about it. So you think underrated because we haven't seen what they've added in for her, right? Yeah, you know, they, they, they choose what we see, right? There's a reason why we were given that card as a spoiler. There's a reason why it's shown up. There's a reason why it exists. But we don't see all the pieces yet that were used to build around the card so yeah we'll see i like it all right unlimited out of print announcements overrated or underrated Ooh, that's a hard one um i'm gonna say underrated oh why? i love that they have the balls to actually tell us and, and now as as a store they don't tell us in advance you know no. we don't we find out when everyone else does yeah and i think that's beautiful that prevents stores from just taking all the inventory and holding on to it it puts players and stores on the same level field and uh that they actually give us that information and the transparency there i don't think people give them enough credit yeah and distribution doesn't even know either it's great no 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 i wish they did but they don't <laughs> <laughs> all right gi joe collectible cards <laughs> i mean clearly underrated now that they're worth like what three thousand eight hundred dollars a pack or whatever <laughs> Or even more than that. <laughs> that, was, that was the joke one. All right, BGS grading. Uh, PSA all the way. They're overrated. PSA, they're clear. The, 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 the white and red is just so much better. I only buy PSA. I like it. I like it. Uh, all right, Flesh and Blood tournament schedule for 2022. <laughs> Can you ask that question? Is that a thing? I, no, I'm, this is supposed to be that stuff that exists. I, <laughs> that was good. I, I think mean, like, we could have a tournament. I mean, we got like take a look at our calendar. We got stuff going on three days a week. <laughs> there you and, go. Uh, I got the car ready. It's packed. You just let me know where to be. So I'm gonna say uh, underrated because I think it's gonna be amazing if they ever do release what we're doing. Whenever they announce it, I agree. Uh, chances of Command and Conquer seeing a reprint in Everfest. Ooh, I'm gonna say overrated. I don't think that card needs a reprint yet. Wow, that's hot take. Th that's a take yeah. from somebody who owns a single store right there. Um, all right. Yeah, right. No, I mean, I, mean, I want to see equipment. Re you know, equipment is need the dollar. You know, yeah. Command & Conquer is great, but there will be a card that will be better than Command & Conquer with heart. That's going to happen. Ooh, but that makes me sad. Equipment should be expensive, the most expensive part in your, in your deck, right? All right. And we should be able to see reprints of that. I want to see... You know, uh, is it, it's confirmed that the cap's coming back, right? Or is that still... Yeah, that's confirmed. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, stuff like that is what I want to see. That's more important to me than, than, than more. All right. All right. Uh, prior, Briar CC post ban. <laughs> um, I'm going to say underrated. I think they're doing a great job trying to keep this game tight. And a lot of us are coming from other TCGs that are old. You know, these are companies that have established what they're doing 
we are still in the infancy stages of this. So let them work out the kinks, let them figure out how to ban, how to do a rat on. We're still learning. So don't count like you're out yet. All right, all right. Uh, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Oh my gosh, OG Kamigawa was my set. So I opened that, I was old enough to actually buy boxes. Uh, I'm super, I saw art with like somebody at like a, a DJ table. So like, I can't wait. It's totally, it's totally underrated. It's gonna be so much fun for a standard set and I'm all in. I like it, I'm, I'm the same way. I was not the same way, but now after this week I am. Uh, all right, MetaZoo IP and brand. Overrated. It's Pokemon 2.0, but not nearly as fun. All right, all right. Uh, online play of TCGs. Oh, I'm gonna say underrated, just because where would we be over these past two years if Arena didn't exist, if there wasn't third party companies allowing us to play these games that we love when it just wasn't actually safe to do it. So definitely underrated. All right, I like it. Uh, new fab sets collectability. I'm going to say underrated. People don't understand print runs very well. Mm -hmm. um, when you compare what LSS puts out in inventory compared to a normal magic set, it's a drop. Yeah. It's, this is still such a new game. It seems like the market's flooded with some stuff. You wait to, you know, when this video plays two, three, four, five years from now, They'll be like, wait a minute, how much for boxes? It'll yeah. be unbelievable. So I just don't think we understand the full scope of how little is actually out there. Okay. Flesh and blood lore. Oh, um, definitely. Oh, that's a good one. Is it underrated or overrated? I'm going to say... It can be appropriately under. rated. Well, the thing is, that, like, it's hard to get a hell of them, right? Like, yeah. there's, I, like we, our store has one of the books. Yeah. And there's so much beauty in there. And I know there's a few PDFs around. But one thing I always hear people say is like, where's the stuff? Where's the meat, right? Where, where can I find out more about this game? So I'm gonna say underrated, and I really hope that they print another book or All do right. something else because there's so much story there, I All think. Right. Pokemon Brilliant Stars. Um, I'm gonna say overrated. I was a huge Celebrations fan. Now we've completely sold out of all of our Celebrations, or of our, <laughs> really, of our Brilliant Stars, so maybe I'm wrong there. But um, I love the OG stuff more. All right, all right. Uh, Magic the Gathering revised dual land investment. This is not this Definitely is not financial advice. Underrated. Underrated. I agree. Uh, all right. Starting an LGS in 2022. <laughs> Don't. Uh, overrated. Yeah. Uh, you know that, that's a, that's a question. You know we probably get it once once a month at least of someone coming in saying that they want to start their own their own company. And it's a really great idea, but I think people need to realize if you open a store, you will never play again. Yeah. And, and that's a sad thing. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It's different than, than the, the real life collecting and playing and having fun. All right, the commoner format, talking about having fun. Oh yeah, uh, definitely underrated. We, we, we do commoner probably two or three times a month on Wednesdays. It's so much fun. We actually created um, what we call popper packs. Oh, so cool. we sell a hero and then a playset of all the common specific cards from the set the hero was, re was released together. So that's a great way to kind of hop into the game, start learning some deck building. And maybe you don't have that money for all of the fancy equipment and such. Like it's, it's a great format. And anytime you can take cards that you already own that you're not using in like CC and repurpose them, it just makes the game better. Nice, I agree with you wholeheartedly. And last one, who would win in a fight, not in a card game fight, but just a raw fight, no equipment, no nothing, Bravo or Oldham fist fighting with no special abilities or anything like that? Who wins in a fist fight? Oldham, hands down. Yeah, oh yeah, he's too big. He just fall asleep on him and like probably be, you know, he'd be probably like checking the mirror, making sure his hair looks nice. <laughs> Oh, just be like, nope. <laughs> I like it. Well, hey, Peter, thank you so much. Anything you want to say about Min Max Games before we close out the video? Um, just that we love Kitchen Table TCG. Yeah. Well, hey, man, appreciate you. Keep on keeping on, and we'll talk to you again later. Thanks for the call, bud. Awesome. Stay safe. See you, bud. Peace.
All right, so that was uh, Peter from MinMax Games. I tend to agree with most of his uh, put most of his arguments about things. This, that thing, all the fab stuff was spot on. A lot of fun. Uh, I think Brilliant Stars is going to be better than he thinks it is, though. Anyway, hope you guys have a great day. Let me know what you think was overrated or underrated, what you disagree with, or what you agree with with Peter in the comment section. Uh, there will also be a link there to all of his stuff. Hope you have a good one. Remember, be kind to the people around you.